2022 Lexus NX350 Review, more cluck for your buck. After transitioning its state look to something flashier in the early 2010s, Lexus has taken a more conservative design tack for this decade. This evolution over revolution approach comes to the Lexus NX for 2022, after appearing on the IS. I'll never understand this conservative approach, because the subtly redesigned NX is a dramatic improvement over the vehicle it replaces. It just doesn't look like it. The 2022 NX350 has more power and more torque, and is a touch more efficient, and it packs better active safety gear, a fresher cabin, and a wealth of smarter technology. This is a comprehensive upgrade that Lexus should be shouting about from the rooftops, even if it remains a solidly mid-pack offering otherwise. The 2022 NX looks like, well, an NX. Lexus hasn't reinvented the wheel here, taking the expressive design of yesteryear and softening the hard edges without dramatically altering the overall shape. The fascia is more upright, lacking the upturned nose of last year's car, while retaining the trademark Predator grille. Designers merged the headlights and running lights into a single housing that creates a more cohesive look. The side intakes still form a subtle L-shape, but the vertical section is slimmer and less disruptive to the overall fascia. The profile is largely unchanged from the C-pillar forward, and while there's still a strong shoulder line over the rear wheel arch, the taillights don't drip down toward the rear bumper in an odd vertical streak like they used to. The most dramatic changes happen in back, where a horizontal LED strip, sitting just above a new and avant gauche Lexus word mark, links the updated taillights. The rear bumper and tailgate remain odd partners, the former too high and the latter too small, but overall, the rear of the NX is the most interesting and substantial part of this modest redesign. The careful, conservative design philosophy goes out the window in the cabin, which is so dramatically and impressively updated that it's easy to forget the mishmash of buttons and knobs and the hateful trackpad of the last NX. An optional 14.0-inch display dominates, centralizing most of the primary interfaces. There's a clearer differentiation between the vertical center stack and horizontal center console here, with the latter playing host to the odd, stubby electric gear selector introduced in the LC Grand Tourer. It's one of barely a dozen physical controls, or about a third of what was on last year's car. Beyond the streamlined interface, Lexus made material upgrades, adding a rich strip of padded leather that supports the center stack, and then bleeds down into the sides of the center console. It looked especially good on my test model, which paired black leather with rich cream hides and orange contrast stitching. Two-tone seats with subtle stitchwork and flashes of silver trim on the steering wheel and weird power door releases round out the comprehensive cabin changes. The 2022 NX's cabin makes the best case for current owners to upgrade. Lexus means luxury, but in a few ways the NX comes up short. I enjoyed the cushy, supportive seats of this non-F-Sport model, and standard heating and ventilation is a good touch too. In back, there's a pleasant rear bench with plenty of room for a pair of adults, wide opening doors, a generous roofline, and a lowish floor height mean getting in and out is easy whether you're a jockey or an NBA all-star. Gear storage space is adequate, with a sizable center console, big door pockets, and a roomy glove box, even if the NX's cargo hold is smaller than most of its rivals. But it's the small rear aperture and high lift over height that have me most concerned. Getting access to the NX's trunk simply isn't that convenient. The NX's firm ride surprised me. This crossover handles potholes and imperfections stoically, with little impact on the steering or suspension's composure, but the regular dull thud that accompanied each impact on Detroit's lousy roads was tiring. Noise from the optional 20-inch wheels, shot in 235-50 Bridgestone Alenza rubber, is a constant companion too. And the new turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine is buzzy and coarser in its sound than the 2.0-liters from Audi and BMW. On the upside, the NX manages wind quite well, the blustery late winter breeze rarely made it to my ears during testing. Forget what you know about Lexus infotainment system. What was the worst in the luxury game has morphed into an incredibly attractive, responsive system that lives on a gorgeous touchscreen display. Arriving first in the NX, Lexus new infotainment offers wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, 
over-the-air updates, dedicated user profiles, a virtual assistant, and cloud-based navigation. There's nowhere that the NX has improved more. But it is not perfect. Unless you program radio presets, swapping stations is a cumbersome multi-step procedure. It also took several days to figure out how to change the digital cluster without diving into the infotainment, hint, you'll need to use the steering wheel buttons. The NX also feels rather reliant on the optional 10.0-inch head-up display, which doesn't get bright enough to really appear clearly on bright days. Also, the HUD vanishes entirely if you, like me, wear polarized sunglasses. The virtual assistant, meanwhile, is about as helpful as in any other car. The software understands native language, but it's almost always quicker to dive in and do things yourself. These small faults overshadow what works well. Rest a finger on one of the steering wheel's two directional pads, and its function pops up on the HUD. If you can see the darn thing, it's a helpful way to keep your hands on the wheel while still manipulating the NX's tech. And the infotainment itself is genuinely good, the display is beautiful, and the operating system uses bright, attractive colors. I just wish it were a touch more user-friendly in small ways. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.